So today I'm in Mansfield, Texas. We're right outside of Arlington and we're at a place that I love to eat at called Rose's Cafe. They have a bunch of these around the DFW and they have probably some of the best Mexican food you can get around here. I mean, everybody does, but they are really damn good and I like their food a lot. Be quiet, birds. Let's go eat. Look at the logo. Look at it. And look at the cute girl walking in the building in front of me. <laughs> Let's go in and eat. This place is bomb. Bomb. You open up the door like that. Yes, let's do it. Oh, look at the options. And you come over here to place your order. Look at their order. Tuesdays were made for tacos. <laughs> and look at the options that they have. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Oh, I love their food. Very. What the heck is that? Okay. <laughs> so we just walked inside of here. We're, getting, we're waiting in line to eat. And boy, I'll tell you what, when we sit down, we do you see the aesthetics in this place. This place is really well done. See, then when you place your food order, they bring it up here and they'll put it up on a screen when it's ready. Ours is number 76, which means ours is ready now. And check out the little tortilla maker they got over here. Look at how they got the little cute tortillas being made. They're all puffy. <laughs> I love it. Happy little tortillas. <laughs> nice. There's their vending or their yeah, their soda fountains. Nice neon. Then over here, they got all your salsas and condiments for your meal. Look at all the awesome birds. <laughs> Just the decorations in here are wild. And then they got another soda fountain right up here. I like that, the Coca-Cola neon. I love it. So here is our awesome, delicious food. We both got smothered burritos. Look at how good those look. Kayla's already painting like Bob Ross on there. <laughs> we got chips and queso, and in here are freshly made tortillas, like yeah. the, the ones you just saw, and then we these. Tell us, what are these? It's basically like cinnamon dough. That's awesome. I'll take it. And then nice little drink here. Got I got some sweet tea. What did you get, Kayla? Sweet tea. Nice. Let's dig in. The one time I get food, and I'm instead of me doing anything about it and eating it, here I am shooting a video about it. What the hell are you looking at? He's looking at me out here like like I'm an idiot. You wouldn't be wrong, sir. Is that a lady? Oops, <laughs> done that before. All right, look at this stuff right in here though. Really, real good fresh tortillas. Look at that, they're so awesome looking. I know you can't really see them. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> Let's do this, what am I waiting for? Seriously. So good, and I haven't even had my first bite yet. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Six months without this. It's like I've been in purgatory for six months. Well, I have, because Pittsburgh doesn't have anything as cool as this. And they, oh God, that sweet tea. That is delicious sweet tea. How's the queso? Let's dig in. Let's see how this queso tastes. Look at that. Real big chip and that queso there. That queso got in my mouth and was like, get some! Mm -hmm. Oh my God. If you ever come to DFW and you come across a Rose's Cafe, you better do yourself the, the favor and stop there and get yourself a good meal. They have them all over Texas, not just DFW. Oh, I didn't know that. I always leave here with a belly ache because I overeat, which is good. Counterbalances all the times so I don't get food like at Grandy's.
they even know how to make the rice right. Every place in Pittsburgh, they make that rice. They use Chef Mike for a wave. They throw the rice in there. They don't even cook it completely. It's dry and tastes like you're eating gravel. I wouldn't be surprised. Now this is the only thing I hate. I'm five minutes into my meal. I'm trying to scarf it down as fast as I can. You try and cut that burrito, that smothered burrito that I got. Try to cut it, get a nice little bit on the fork to eat, and it blows up like fireworks bigger on the 4th of July. Or, what? no, I'm not even gonna go there. I was gonna say, or what somebody might do in the bathroom after eating Taco Bell anyway, because they certainly don't do that here. Actually, they back you up. They, they claw you. No, what am I? Holy! <laughs> That's gross. I just, I, I just can't stand that I try to eat and they gotta tease you like that. Yeah, you got a little bit of food on your fork, but as soon as you go to try and put it in your mouth, it goes everywhere but your mouth. Use a spoon. Except for that, the spoon wouldn't work because all the little pieces of ground meat will just go rolling away everywhere. Pick it up with your hands and eat it with your hands. Okay, I'm not a child. I'm not Randy from A Christmas Story. Yes, you are. I like to eat my food and I'll play with it. And my food likes to play with me. Because look at this. This is ridiculous. You'd think I was trying to tie my shoelaces with this. I'm not trying to tie a ribbon. I'm trying to eat. Pretty soon I will just use my hands. I'll just eat like Randy and just bury my face into this plate. I got people outside looking at me. I'm eating shoestrings. I don't even care. They're still good. There goes Kayla, taking up all the queso. You're supposed to eat it, not paint happy little trees all over your burrito. She just shakes her head at me like I'm nuts. Yeah. I mean, I am, but Rose's food is so good that this guy pal drove his truck right into a, one of the parking barriers the last time he was here. And as you can see, he's right back here again because it's that good. And I don't blame him. Something I like to do with these nice, fresh, warm tortillas. Oh, it's just heaven. I'll just... What? You're pissing a tortilla. You realize that, right? Because I love it. You realize that guy in the drive-thru is laughing at you. Let him laugh. Mm. I don't even care. I'm going to take that nice warm tortilla all rolled up. Take that amazing queso. I don't even have to put anything in it. Just dip it right in there. Dunk it in there. Swirl it around. Just that. And... Mm. That's just amazing. That's amazing. I didn't know it was possible to have food that good. Well, actually, I did when I met her. When you live in Pittsburgh your whole life and you have nothing, then you come down here and it's like, what place do you want to go to today? Roses, Whataburger, In and Out, Racks. Maverick, what? Racks. Racks. That's right, Racks. Even though there aren't any down here. You want to go to Grandy's? Yeah, I'd go to Grandy's. Taco Bueno, Chicken E, Taco Bueno, McDonald's. All right, no, we got we got McDonald's in Pittsburgh on every corner. I know. I ain't loving it. Dip a little bit of that. That's right. That's so good. I feel like a murderer though eating this. To see this on that belt about 20 minutes ago, all nice and puffy. As it was cooling down, then it gets flat, and then that lady just takes it, throws it right in the bin like it was a dog toy. It's like, wow. Way to treat that thing. What did it ever do to you? And here I am, eating it. When I should be adoring it. I adore it by eating it. I didn't even dip it in cheese. Alright, so while I let some of my food digest real quick, to finish the rest. We're sitting here in the far corner of the restaurant, because that was the timeout corner, and they told me I had to sit back here or get out. But look at the aesthetics of this place. Look at how awesome the colors are in here. It's amazing in here. And what's that Texas sign I see up there that's all lit up in neon? Dr. Pepper, isn't that awesome? I love that neon, I want that. 
But yeah, I absolutely love this place. I love all the colorful chairs, all the neon, the colorful lights in here. I can't say anything bad about this place, except that their food doesn't get in my belly fast enough and that they need to come to Pittsburgh, which I know won't happen. Hell, this place has so many different types of restaurants in here compared to Pittsburgh, it's not even fair. And now they're even getting the Bojangles in here too. And I still can't get one in Pittsburgh. I'm telling you, Bojangles, if you don't come to Pittsburgh, I'm fining you and I'm gonna drag your ass to Pittsburgh and I'm gonna make you open up one there. Well, I mean, I can't do that, but all I can do is beg. Just come to Pittsburgh. Rosa's, and Bojangles, and Whataburger, and Chicken E, and Chewy's, and On the Border. What the hell else have they got out here? H-E-B? Yeah, go there. <sighs> there it is. As per usual, every time I go to Rosa's, I wreck that plate faster than a Steelers wrecked their 2020 playoff run. Ben Chodes. I literally can't believe I'm saying this, but I am actually full for once. I had a good meal, but before I go, the body of Christ. Amen. How is it? This is heaven. The weirdo's first time having a sofa pia. This is absolute heaven. Amen. Again. All right. Well, so was another delicious meal at Rosa's. I even got some sweet tea to go. So good. I can't wait to come back and enjoy this place as many times as I can until the end of our trip and then on our next trips. So, whew. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of laughs there. And if you did, the, I know these birds did. Boy, are they annoying. There's like a hundred birds in that tree. Somebody told me what they were before. They're very noisy. But I guess they're all right. I like them. They're better than cicadas. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for more content. And we'll talk to you later. So take care, everybody. Stay awesome. And have a Rosa... Rosa's Cafe Licious Day. Bye, everyone.